Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Today we're going to delve into and check out two new Kubi knives and we're going to do it quickly. And by the way, the one that I'm flipping right here because I was checking out some of my Kubis, this is the Kubi Duroc. I love this knife. This is a Colin Mason Pierre design, CM designs. This, is, this one is one of the first ones that really bit me good after I sharpened it. <laughs> <laughs> the blade on this one, whoo boy. Anyway, okay, here's the knife we're here to see. And we're not actually checking out one knife. We're gonna check out two, so stick around after you see this one. You won't believe what the next one looks like. It is nuts. <laughs> it's crazy. This is the Kubi Leaf. And, you know, I can definitely see how they get the name. Would you look at it? Just look at it. The Kubi KU333B. And give you a little bit of texture vision. Can we get in there? Can we find some texture? Is it even possible in this lighting? Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. <laughs> yeah, mama. Check it out. It has pretty good texture. I'm going to give it about a four and a half. It is not super grippy. Um, you know, I like my knives extra grippy, just like I like my jimping. But it is a reversible deep carry pocket. Pretty deep carry. There's a little bit sticking out of the top here. And you do have a lanyard spot. So if you feel like a lanyard, if you're a lanyard lover, you're going to be good to go on that. And we do have flat screws, which is a major plus. And, you know, I wish they would maybe start, uh, Kubi would start recessing the uh, bottom of the pocket clip down into the G10. make So this doesn't ever catch your pocket. I would, I think that would be a major improvement. You ready to see this blade? Snip! Right in the snipper. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is a sweet looking blade. Check that out. I really like the looks of this bad boy. I mean, I like how it flows, and I do like this blade shape. You know, besides the fact that it's kind of, it, you know, it's almost like a drop arrow point. Does that make any sense? I mean, is that even such a thing? But could you imagine if this was a flat grind all the way to the top, how slicey that would be? But it's already slicey as it is. This bad boy is 17 thousandths of an inch behind the edge. The blade length's 2.97 inches. Your cutting edge is 2.78 inches. It's seven inches overall. Your blade stock thickness is 122 thousandths of an inch. This little dude only weighs 2.9 ounces. Doesn't even weigh three ounces. Let's see what kind of edge we have here right out of the box. Ooh, not too bad. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth, baby. Yeah, it's no hang-ups at all. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Except that one right there. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, it has a really nice factory edge on it. They have they have quite a few different colors you can choose from, and you don't have to get the stone wash. You can also get the satin. And the blade steel on these are Aus 10. Check them out. So there's your Kubi on that side. And then on this side... There's your designer mark, and it's Aus 10. How about that? Ooh, there you go. There's a good look at your texture. As far as fit and finish, well, the finish on it, it looks great. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good looking stone walk. Left and right, up and down, absolutely solid. And what's our lockup look like? The lockup's right where you want it, right in the middle. And are we centered? Yep, we are centered. We do a couple quick size comparisons for you. Here's the QSP Penguin. You already know. You already know. You gotta have a penguin, right? And here's the Civivi Elementum. So right there in that everyday carry size of knife, super lightweight, easy in and out of the pocket, not even three ounces. You're, you're right there. If you have one of these, you already know. Here's the Kubi Duroc, and I do love me some Kubi. They do make some very solid knives. Now, the Duroc is a little bit wider, a little bit higher up here, but if you have a Duroc, now you're going to get an idea of the size of the handle of this bad boy. And here's a Kaiser for size comparison. How about the Kaiser Feist? Look at that. So it's a little bit thicker than the Feist. The handle lengths are pretty negligibly, negligibly, <laughs> pretty much the same. And then for your blade length, you have pretty just about pretty much the same cutting cutting length on your edge. And then two more. How about the Civivi Mini Praxis that everybody went nuts over? Okay, fine. Not everybody. Maybe there were a couple people that were like, eh, I don't care about it. All right, I get it. I get it. I understand. And how about this one? The Spyderco Delica 4. Look at that. This is a great, small, everyday carry size knife. And I'm going to show you the action of Ergos. So this one primarily is a top flipper. It's almost in the back side. It's not as front forward like a front flipper. It's I would call this a top. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. It comes out with the Thoa tie. So putting your thumb on top 
for all of you that don't like front flippers, I can't, I can't say that this is a front flipper. Um, it's, it's almost, it is. Yeah. It's back here. It's in the back and up top. Yes. I don't even have to do it the weird way that I hold it for a lot of the, the reach overs. Like I do this one, just, just holding it like this. Yeah. Look, check this out. This is some excellent, excellent jumping. Kudos, kudos to Kubi. That is some really good jumping. I like it. It is really, it's so grippy. <laughs> it's super grippy. I love it. And ooh, 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 check it out. We have some room for sharpening. Very nice. Very, very nice. Look at that nice, clean looking grind. That is very nice. Now, I don't think there's a whole lot of other ways to, uh, um, can I, no, I can't reverse flick it. I can't, my uh, fingernails hitting it. So I'm just sliding right off. But, oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Easy for the slow roll, for a little swingy swing action. So you already know how to open it. Pretty much it's gonna be over the top or easy, very easy to roll. Just You just roll your thumb and it opens. So that's, that's very good. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. Let's see how she looks. Just holding it ever so gently. Very nice, very, very nice, nice and comfortable. And you know what? I am feeling this pocket clip. That pocket clip's kind of getting me in a soft spot right there at the bottom of my pinky knuckle. So I would say, you know, I have a large size hand and giving it the B squeeze, definitely, definitely warm. Definitely a warm spot for me. If your hand is more of a medium size hand, this knife is going to fit you even better. It's gonna be more comfortable. Now it does give me an excellent grip and Okay, yeah, if my hand was a little bit smaller, but I can see using this. But this pocket clip is definitely making itself known. Oh, yeah. Now, this thing is going to be great for opening packages. You know, tactical Twinkie box opener. Utility cutting is going to be a big time thing. Look look how it flows with my hand. That is very nice. I like, I like, I like the flow. Can't you like the flow? But yeah, I think it's a, it's a pretty good knife. I don't see any problems with it. Super solid, super good lockup. It's centered. There's no issues. As Austin steel, um, you can get them in different colors. You can get the bead blast with them. I think these run around 70. Now, you ready to see this crazy knife? Let's do it. Here it is. This is not one of my styles or one that I carry, but I am appreciating getting to check it out. This is the Kubi KU364. And you're like, what? Or maybe this is, you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. I've been checking that one out. This is a Hydra design. Super, super lightweight. This thing weighs less than two ounces. And it has this Kydex sheath with the metal, the metal belt clip that is adjustable. You can turn this pretty much any direction you want. And this, you can see where this slides. So you're going to be, you're going to be able to carry it probably up and down or appendix carry or however you carry it. I think this is prime. I'm just guessing. I would guess this is more of a self-defense type knife than anything, but you ready to see this blade? Oh yeah. Now this, this comes in two different blades. This is the arrow point, And it also comes in a trailing point. That looks like a more traditional knife. But wow, check that out. This whole thing is 14C28 in, baby. It's very pokey and it does look like an arrow. My goodness. Now I imagine you could do some, some utility cuts. Not, you know, I, I don't know. This actually does kind of fit in my hand nicely back here as a utility cutter. This would be good if you, if you poke holes in things. And let's see, handle wise... Um, yeah, and yeah, I don't know if I would hold it like that because I think this heel, I'd have to, you definitely were, are going to want to hold it back like this or lock your pinky into place. Yeah, I think that would probably be the preferred method like that. And then I know, let's see, how is it? Yes. Some folks prefer to have this knife to be able to use like this. I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with self-defense with the knife, but it is comfortable in my hands. I can tell you that much. I would, if I had this on me, I would definitely be using it like this for whatever I was using it for. It is comfortable. It's extremely lightweight and you, you wouldn't even know you had it on you. It, you know, there's a lot of folks that would carry this as a backup. Um, there's, I would help me out, help a brother. out. <laughs> what are the uses for a knife like this? I'm really curious. I know a lot of folks carry a neck knife. This would be a good neck knife because it weighs practically nothing. And I am impressed that this whole thing, that's a lot of 14C28N. That's very impressive. So this this is the Kubi KU33B 
Uh, no, the KU364, all these numbers, and it's the Hydra design, and this is the KB, Kubi, <laughs> oh, this is great, the Kubi 3, 33B, oh, wow, <laughs> I hope you're all having a fantastic day, I am curious what you, what you think about them, maybe it's not your thing, that's cool, if it's not, tell me what you had for breakfast, say hello to everybody, say hello everybody in the chat, and you know, go watch this video, you're gonna enjoy that one, have a laugh with bees, life is not that serious, Remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself!